Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So we're going to talk about some game tips, mainly managing your keys. I know I have a few videos about this already, but a lot of people still don't understand how to save their keys and why it's really important. So we're going to touch base on that again. But first, the Subaru WRX STI is broken on Android. So anybody who has the latest update, the 3.0.2 or whatever it is, it's a uh, May 21st, 2021. And some people, when they're picking that car, it's just kind of like blacking out their screen and locking them out of the game. So for a little while now, you're going to want to make sure you, you don't pick the Subaru WRX STI. All right. And that's only on Android though. It's only on Android. Now, if you're on iOS, it's not going to hurt you out. But first off, keys, guys. Keys are the most important thing in the game to save. And we're going to tell you why here. All right. So first off, silver keys. This is the one that you got to save the silver keys, guys. Stop spending your silver keys just to get cars that you don't want or don't need. Most of the time you open a silver crate... <clears throat> She gives you some sort of horrible one star or two star car that you have no use for or you've already got it or it's just not a good car, all right? And if you keep opening those, you're just going to continue to get really lousy cars all the time. Now, if you stop spending your keys and save them for a good two, three, four seasons, I know that's kind of hard to do, but if you're a new player, you got to save those keys up. It's one of the most important things you can do in the game because once you get into a bigger per crew, you're going to need to make usually 600, 700, 800,000 respect points every season. And you need to be able to get the Prestige Cup car every season. All right? The Prestige Cup car alone will get you, man, several hundred thousand respect points easily. All right, you can race the Prestige Cup, plus there's a couple other races every season that require a Prestige Cup car, or some of them require last season's Prestige Cup car. And if you don't have the keys saved up to get the Prestige Cup car every season, you are constantly going to struggle, unless you're one of those guys that plays like 6, 8, 10 hours a day and grinds their butt off like you wouldn't believe. If you don't get the Prestige Cup car, and you're an average player who plays maybe an hour, maybe two hours a day, you're gonna have a really hard time making those points if you don't have a bunch of silver keys saved up to get the Prestige Cup car. So if you don't know what the Prestige Cup car is, every season, a season lasts for two weeks, there's something called a Prestige Cup that pops up. And there's a special car each season just for the Prestige Cup. And you can pull that car with your silver crates. All right, it's going to be like a 10x chance up for it usually lasts the entire season. You'll see the 10x chance for a specific car. Now, that's the only time I ever pull my silver keys is when I'm trying to get that specific car. And as soon as I get one, I stop pulling and I don't touch my silver keys again until next season. All right, so I only pull once per season on the silver crates. Now the bronze keys, okay, you can kind of do whatever you want with those, but my suggestion is to also save as many of those as possible. Once you get like 20,000 of those saved up, which does take a few months, okay, it takes several months to get your 20,000 keys saved up. But when you have 20,000 keys saved up, let's just say you get a really awesome car and you're like, hey, there's a part crate available for this car. I can open these bronze crates, use my bronze keys to get parts for this car. Well, guess what? Bam, you dump your 20,000 keys onto that car and you're either going to max that car out or get really close. You're, you're at least going to get all the stage six parts for it. Generally, I found it takes about about 15, between 15 to 20,000 keys to get all of these stage six parts for a car. Usually, though, usually you will be missing some of the pink fusions still. I mean, I've spent up to like 50,000 keys before trying to max a car out, and I was still short like six or 10 fusion parts, okay? So don't always expect to get all the fusions, but you know, if you got 20,000 keys, you're gonna get most of the fusions and pretty much all of the, all of the stage six parts for that car. So that's what I suggest doing with your bronze keys. 
Now gold keys, again, you can kind of do whatever you want with your gold keys, guys. Doesn't really matter too much, but this is my suggestion. All right, usually when there's a featured car with the gold keys, it's going to say, hey, loyalty reward in seven pulls or loyalty reward in 10 pulls. Most of the time on the gold keys, it takes you to loyalty before you get the car. Most of the time, okay? There may be a few exceptions. But, hold on a second, guys. I forget where I was going with this. Oh yeah, most of the time it takes you to loyalty to get the car. Therefore, if you want to make sure you have enough keys saved up to get the car. So I try to save up, it's either going to cost you 70 gold keys or 100 gold keys, depending on if it's a 7 pool or a 10 pool loyalty. Lately, it seems like they've been 7 pools. In the past, it used to be around 10. But it's probably going to take you at least 70 gold keys to guarantee you get that car out of the golden crate. So... I would make sure you save up at least 70 keys and then wait for a really awesome car in the gold crate before you start pulling. And then if you get that and it's, it's just amazing, that's when you might want to dump those bronze keys. But never, 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 all right, never use your, your silver keys for anything except for getting the prestige cup car, guys. I would save up at least 2,000 of the silver keys before I start pulling, all right? Once you save up 2,000, I always try to do those tricks to win the car, and most seasons it seems like those might actually work. Like I say though, like I always say, I can't guarantee that they work, but it seems like there's something to it. It really seems like there's something to it. And most seasons, it takes me two, three, four tries to get the Prestige Cup car, bam, I'm done. I didn't spend that much many, many keys. On a, bad, on a bad season, it took me to loyalty, which was 750 silver keys. And that sucks when that happens. Those 750 seasons are not fun. And every once in a while, you might have two of those in a row or three of those in a row. And that sucks up a lot of keys. That's why you need to save them, guys. Because you never know when you're going to have that 15 pull loyalty season. And you're basically just going to use up all your keys, guys. You're going to use up all your keys if you don't save them. And then you're going to be out of keys. And next season, you're not going to have the 750 keys to, to guarantee that you're going to get the prize car. So bottom line, saving keys is one of the most important things you can do. Saving game cash, all right? This is the next one. Save your game cash as much as you can. Generally, after I got through Tempest, I, start, I stopped upgrading cars except for every season I upgrade the prestige cup car and every once in a while I might upgrade a second one but for the most part I upgrade one maybe two cars per season now and that's it and that's why I have so much game cash saved up people are always asking how do you have so much cash how, how much this how much that well it's because I'm super stingy with all of my resources in this game I mean it's Cost like around six million game cash to upgrade a stage, a, a stage, a tier five car, guys. So imagine have to upgrade three or four tier five cars in one season. I mean, that's, that can be like up to 30, that could be like 30 million game cash right there. So you got to be really picky and choosy as to what you upgrade. All right. Don't waste your keys. So, anyways, I think that pretty much wraps this video up. And we will catch you later, all right? Please hit that like and subscribe. Hit that little bell notification. Set it to all. That way you don't miss any good uploads. And I will catch you later. Thanks for watching. See ya.